So for chapter six wrap up, I thought I would just go ahead and show you the book answer for this question. We get asked this all the time. Um, if I can't deduct an investment expense, then I'm going to call it a business. That way I can deduct it. But how does the code distinguish between business versus investment and why is it important? So obviously you can read the answer here. Both business and investment activities are motivated by profit, which is true, but they can be, be distinguished by the level of profit seeking activity. A business is commonly described as sustained, continuous, high level of profit seeking activity, whereas investment don't require a high level of involvement. The distinction um, is critical for determining whether deduction associated is above or below the lines. So this is for AGI from AGI. With one exception, business expenses are deducted for AGI. The loan exception is unreimbursed employee business expenses, which are not deductible. In contrast, investment expenses are deductible as itemized deductions, if deductible at all, with one exception. Expenses associated with rental and royalty activities are deductible for AGI, regardless of whether the activity qualifies as an investment or business. This is a lot of information in one little paragraph, and that's why I wanted to show you this. Um, and then I wanted to, if I can quickly find it, reference, um, it, there's several references in the book to this. Um, I wanted to see if I could quickly find where it talks about, and I don't think I can, but you can. Um, you can find it, oh, it's on page 6-16, um, and we talk more about it in a chapter on investments. But um, it'll talk to you a little bit about that on, on page 6-16. So you might want to review that. But again, lots of good information in this paragraph. So I really just kind of wanted you to see that.